So the reason I decided to make this video is that I meet new photographers day by day and sometimes I see that people are holding the camera in a wrong way, they are holding it in a very unstable way and they end up with slightly blurry shots. So here are three rules that if you apply you can be sure that your shots will be 100% sharp and you will be able to handle longer shutter speeds. Hi, my name is Miklos Meyer and I'm a photographer guide in Budapest, Hungary and welcome to another very exciting tutorial in which I'm going to show you three ways that you can get sharper handheld shots. Rule number one, have a firm grip on the camera. So for most people this is very very obvious but just keep watching and you will see that sometimes it's not that obvious. So if I'm shooting in landscape orientation I will put my left hand under the camera and this is supporting the weight of the camera and with my right hand I put it on the grip and I have my finger on the shutter button. But if I shoot vertically I would still have my left hand under the camera and my right hand above the camera gripping gripping the camera grip so like this but the thing is I often notice that people are holding the camera like this now as you can see this is a very awkward angle at my wrist this makes for a, for a very unstable shot so if you are shooting like this I'm sure that you will be not able to handhold longer shutter speeds so therefore I think this way it's a lot more stable so left hand under the camera right hand above the camera on the grip and elbow should be lifted up so that it's a lot more stable because if I keep my elbow like this my right wrist is going to be again in a very awkward angle so this is how you should do it But having a firm grip is not enough to have a stable shot. So there comes rule number two, is that you should have three points of stabilization. So your two hands are your two points of stabilization, but you should have a third one and the shots would be a lot more stable. So for example, if you have a DSLR camera, then you should press the camera against your face like this. So now, now I'm pressing the camera against my nose and this way it's a lot more stable than if I were just hand holding like this. Because I often see people that they are somehow afraid to, to press the viewfinder against their eye and they are looking through the viewfinder like this. So here they are just using their two hands, they are not taking advantage of their face. Same applies if you are using a mirrorless camera in live view mode then you will be shooting like this but instead of just holding the camera with your two hands you should push the neck strap and you push the camera away from your head and this way it's going to get a lot more stable because now I'm pushing the camera away from my neck and now I have three points of stabilization On to rule number three. This again may be quite obvious, but it's very easy to uh, make this accidentally. So this is not touching the focus ring with your fingers. Because on most lenses it's quite easy to accidentally touch the focus ring when you are composing. So for example I focus this shot and then maybe if I'm, I'm just accidentally touching the ring, the focus will just go off and 
I'm going to have a blurry shot but in this case the blurriness will not come from my handshake it's going to come from the lens being misfocused so if you apply these three rules I'm sure your shots will end up 100% sharp and you will be able to handhold one per focal length uh, second long shutter speed so for example if you are using a uh, 24 millimeter lens on a full frame camera you should be able to handhold uh, 1 25th of a second shutter speed obviously if you have image stabilization in your lens then this should be two or four times longer so then you should be able to handhold one fifth of a second as well for example when i'm shooting with my 50 millimeter lens i can have all my shots sharp if i'm using one fiftieth of a second or even i can handhold longer shots for example with one twenty-fifth of a second so that was it for, for today, I hope you liked the video, you can subscribe to my channel here, that would make me super happy because I just started and I will see you the next day.